Good morning, my beautiful ladies, and welcome back to my channel. So today is Hashtag Tea Tuesday, hosted by Kathy's Favorite Things and Miss Patty with Life with Patty. And I didn't make my, call, my tea today, but I'm drinking my cafe in my Merry Christmas mug. So guys, I would first and foremost like to apologize. I am about, I don't know how many comments behind and I can't catch up this month. I really can't with Vlogmas, with my December dailies, with collabs, with my birthday, my, my not birthday challenge, my just my subby challenge, because it's not really a birthday challenge, it's just a subby challenge. The girls, the house, work, because I've got dumped. As you guys know, I am now a senior project manager. So basically what that means is I am now in charge of project managers that are what I'm going to call losers because they can't do their jobs. So I really get stuck with jobs that are so screwed up because these PMs don't know how to do their jobs. So I'm going to be managing three jobs that are in what I call the red zone. And I'm going to be starting one job that is gonna be not really mine, but I'm gonna guide it from the beginning which makes it a little bit easier because it seems like this lady, from my understanding, the lady that is their project manager was never a project manager. So if you've never been a project manager, you're not gonna make it because being a project manager, you have to have a different type of mindset. You're not, you're just built differently. And if you're, you've been an owner, which I've been an owner to a construction company before too, it's completely two different animals. They're not the same breed, two different breeds. So this lady used to own her own construction company. Apparently it failed. So she's now a project manager. She's not that great. So I need to teach her how to be a PM. So I've been so busy guys. So I need to apologize for not commenting back, but I promise that I will. All those comments, I'm going to go back to each and every one of them and I'm going to comment on each and every one of them. I don't care how long it takes me, I'm going to do it because that's just who I am, you know. So please know that I am reading them. I just need to have the time to actually comment on them back. But no, maybe what I should do is just like and heart, but I don't want to because then I'm going to think that I already commented on them. So I'd rather not like and heart because then I'll do it all at one time and I know, oh, I haven't done any of these. So please, guys, accept my apologies. I want to thank y'all for continuing to comment on my videos. I really appreciate y'all. And you know that. Um, I got all my Christmas cards mailed out. Yay, me! I got all my Christmas cards and I made little goodie bags for my neighbors. So my my um, last year I started a tradition. I'm trying to teach my daughter that Christmas is not all about getting. I don't ever believe that. I think that Christmas is about giving back and making people happy and trying to show the light to people that there are still good people out here because people forget that Christmas is not about being greedy. It's about showing the spirit of Christmas. You know, let's show people love. Let's show people that there's still kindness. Let's show people that we're not all bad. We're not all mean. And they, they don't need to be hiding from us because that's not what it's about. So last year, because my neighborhood, they're little snobs. They're all retired veterans and they're like master sergeants, first sergeants, like high rank captains. And as it is, no offense to anybody in the military, but you know, officers, a lot of officers are a little bit snobbish. They are in the military. It's sad to say, but it's true. That's why I never became an officer. I could have because I had a degree or I have a business degree. I have an accounting degree and I have an interior design degree, but I never wanted to be an officer because that's not the kind of person that I am. So 
last year I told my husband, I'm like, listen, we need to we need to be nice to these to the people and show them differently. So I made up a bunch of Christmas cards and candy canes last year. And I put a candy can with each Christmas card and they got on they got on our golf cart and they went around the whole neighborhood and delivered Christmas cards. My daughter loved it and she's looking forward to it again this year. So this year I got Christmas cards, but I bought those little Dollar Tree Ziploc bags, the little gingerbread ones, and I'm going to fill them up with little chocolate. So I bought a bag of chocolate and I'm going to fill them up with chocolate. And the, the three of them this time, the baby's going to go with them. And um, they're going to go deliver Christmas cards around the neighborhood. So we started that tradition because, like I said, I'm trying to show my daughter that it's about giving back. You can get, but you need to give. We do the uh, socks for vets. So we've been collecting socks and we're going to deliver those to the veteran home here right off um, Fort Knox. We've been donating to the drives. So we've donated to the Toys for Tots. My husband, if you don't know, my husband was a, a Marine first and then he went into the army. So the Toys for Tots is very special because when he was in the Marines, he used to actually be a part of that committee with the Marines to put that together. So the Toys for Tots has always been special and dear to my husband. So we always donate to Toys for Tots. Um, We've been donating to um, the Dollar Tree where they do the uh, Operation Homefront. We always, or I always, every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I throw I throw um, toys inside of that box. Every time, never fails. We got We donate to that, um, and we donate to the local pantries here. And my daughter's school, they do the same thing. You know, they ask for certain things. This year, they asked for um, mac and cheese from her grade. So we bought about a hundred dollars worth of mac and cheese and we gave it to the school you know we love to give we're a very giving family you know um that's what i love about my husband he has a very giving heart and so do i i love giving back so i love that you know I, i'm not i'm not one that's greedy and i love to give i love seeing people happy it makes me happy <laughs> So anyways, enough about that. I, all I wanted to say is, guys, I'm sorry for not commenting back, but I promise y'all that I will. And you guys know that I love you. This is this is not just, I, I do. I really sincerely love y'all so much. So thank you for the support. Thank you for supporting my family. We're planning on a very family special video. My photo bomber is dying to make that video. So stay tuned. I know you guys haven't seen a family video in a while. So I promise you guys a family video soon. I don't want to make this video too long. I'm already at like eight minutes. And um, I just wanted to, you know, thank you guys. Thank y'all so much. And don't forget, you know, during the season, even if it's just once a year, y'all, let's, let's open up our hearts to the world. And let's show our world how much we love and care for them. You know, I, I there's another thing that... I don't know if you guys are aware of, but the USPS um, put this website where they tell kids to mail their mail to like one, two, three, something. I forgot the exact address. And you can become Santa Claus for these kids. So you pick a, a letter, you adopt the child, and you're Santa Claus. And you can send this child whatever you want from their list. Um, so that's going on, you know, there's a lot of things that allow us to show people that, you know, the spirit is still there, you know, let's not break this tradition. It's a beautiful tradition, you know, especially for children. That's why to me, it's very important to them. You know, I never had a childhood when I was a kid, you know, I had to grow up very quickly. So every day that I can, I make it very special for my daughters because I want my daughters to be able to be kids. I don't want them to have to grow up. That is not their responsibility. Their responsibility is to enjoy their childhood. Mommy and daddy's responsibility is to adult. And I never had that. So I make sure that I do that for my girls. You know, when they, when photo bomber tries to grow up too fast, I tell her to slow down, girl, slow down. You're a kid, unless you're working, you don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. So 
You know, I bring her back down to what I say. I bring her back down to the parking lot. But anyways, guys, yeah, let me let me stop rambling. I'm up to 10 minutes. I want to keep it at 10 minutes. But again, I'm just going to conclude this by saying open your hearts up. You know, let's 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 be giving. Let's be giving. Let's let's be mindful of those that need. Let's be mindful of those that seek because a lot of people are seeking. Um, I don't know. I guess that's it, you know? It's it's just the season. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Let me take one last sip of my coffee. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.